All right, so what's up, guys? It's Wombat today, and uh, today we're gonna be reviewing. This is this is the last dual layer of them all, Acid Anubis. Yep, Acid Anubis, yo, Yell Orbit. So let's get on to doing the individual parts. So up first is the Acid Anubis layer, probably one of the most like overlooked layers. Uh, it's got, as you can see, it's pretty round, although the teeth are bad, so it's pretty hard to burst, not very good at defense, or er, pretty easy to burst, not very good at defense. Um, it's kind of like a death scyther in that it's got a lot of stamina, like probably around death scyther or Odin level stamina, while also being pretty easy to burst. Um, the problem is that it just kind of became irrelevant once the god layers came out and um it became like atomic and life after death and procession and all that and acid nubis just raw stamina just kind of fell by the wayside and then eventually it was outclassed by guardian kerbius which is the other stamina layer kind of like deep chaos it's got a lot of stamina but is also pretty easy to burst that's kind of an issue. It makes stamina not very safe to use. Even though I understand it from like a game balance point that like having high stamina layers that are also hard to burst would be pretty game breaking, but at the same time, it also kind of makes stamina unusable. Which is bad because there's not really like a safe combo that people can go to to use. But either way, Acid Anubis is a good layer. Um it's still like pretty usable like in the UK Death Scyther still wins tournaments pretty regularly and then D2 shows up occasionally in North America so Acid Anubis is as good as Death Scyther it should be able to place just as well there and um Yell is the disc another pretty um overlooked part just because of the time it came out uh, Yell, it doesn't have, it's actually pretty heavy, it's almost as heavy as heavy is, but it was kind of overlooked because the, the heavier god discs were released right afterward. It's got some pretty good life after death, better than spread. It'll beat spread in an opposite spin matchup, um, loses in same spin though. There's a better chance against atomic than spread does. Uh, Neptune Yell Revolve was like my go-to combo for having to deal with L2 hold before I went into uh, AN and I found that like oh DF Atomic beats this anyways so there's not really anything I can do about it except use like right spin atomic against it uh, but yeah 4G or uh, 7G outclasses it for left spin life after death I'm not sure if it does for right spin just because of the way glaive is shaped the points point the wrong way for right spin so yell still might be better there um I would definitely recommend using like DF Yell Revolve to shut down like opposing DF combos. But yeah, it's pretty overlooked disc just because um, it didn't have a huge window of usefulness because the uh, the god discs outclassed it pretty quick or they became more popular. I don't know if they definitively outclassed it. And then Orbit is um, a driver that. I've reviewed it in like the past, I think, two other videos, but um, it's like becoming useful again because, especially, so uh, Orbit is probably one of the hardest drivers to burst in the game, um, just because of the free spinning ball, moves around a lot, um, not a ton of friction with the ground, and it's also like difficult to hit because it's pretty responsive to the user's launch as well. Uh, so, Orbit you'd think would be outclassed by Atomic, but because Atomic has uh, better life after death, but for whatever reason, Atomic is easier to burst. Some people think it's due to like the larger surface area, some people think it's due to like a weak spring, but I think Bearing is the only one that's like actually confirmed to have a weak spring compared to other drivers, so I think it just may, like, might be like, I don't know, Atomic is easier to burst for some reason, so Orbit has kind of taken its place as like 
a defensive driver with not as much life after death. So you'll see things like Alter Kronos on orbit instead of atomic when you want to avoid bursting a little more. Or um, Maximum Garuda on orbit was actually probably better than the atomic variant because Maximum Garuda was wide enough to outspin anything left spin even on orbit so it didn't need, it didn't really need the support of atomic and orbit just increases defensive power uh a lot of people are using orbit because it's more controllable than atomic too and it bursts less so like you'll see things like Sieg Excalibur on orbit um possibly legend Spriggan on orbit nightmare longinus on orbit orbit uh was pretty good with l2 too for um KOing or bursting Drain Fafnir Atomic back when that was uh first came out. The UK people were using L2 Orbit to defeat it. But um Orbit's a pretty solid driver, even though it's been like released a bunch of times, it's kinda old, it's still good. Alright, so overall, um Acid Anubis, I definitely say it's a must buy. Because like none of the parts are super top tier, but they're all like useful in their own way. It's, it's, it has no bad parts in it, to put it this way. It has a layer that's like basically Death Scyther that doesn't wear. Um, a disc that's good for life after death. Without being like a god disc. Um, and it's got a driver that's good for defense, good for burst attack. Um, okay procession. It's just a good all around purchase to get. I would definitely recommend getting Acid Anubis. It's not too great stock, but all the parts are pretty good. Like Acid Anubis and Alter Kronos. Alter Kronos Yell Orbit is probably like the cheapest okay combo you can make on a budget. So that's done with the dual layers. Um, up next would be God Valkyrie, but I don't have one yet because uh, Traniac didn't send me one. Or like, it's just some, I won one at a tournament and then Traniac didn't actually have it. And I'm still waiting on it today. And then I have like a bunch of other god stuff that I didn't buy because I don't know. But we'll see how it goes reviewing all the god layers that I don't have. And I'll, I'll maybe see you then.